ACS journals are run by scientists. They're not run by a profit-making company. And the motivation behind ACS publications is to tell the story about the science and not to compromise on the scholarship. I've been in awe of ESNT since I was a student. I remember when I was an undergraduate reading papers in ESNT, and then as a graduate student publishing my first paper in ESNT, and then being a reviewer, an editorial advisory board member, and an associate editor. And each step in that journey of working with ESNT, I've come to appreciate more and more the importance of this journal. And so when I had the opportunity to become editor-in-chief of ESNT, I jumped at the chance because I think it's the way in which our community communicates with the outside world and tells a story about the research that we're doing and its importance to society. Most of my current research involves the development of the next generation of urban water systems. So I'm thinking about uh, the kinds of water systems that we're going to have to build in the future to adapt for the effects of climate change and population growth. The types of problems that we're trying to solve now in environmental science and environmental chemistry are more complex than the problems we were solving 10 or 20 years ago. But at the same time, there are many more environmental scientists and engineers working on the solution of these problems. ESNT reaches a broad community of researchers, uh, whether they're environmental chemists, atmospheric scientists, geochemists, or engineers. That community understands ESNT and looks to it as a leader. Increasingly, we're becoming the place that people look for policy and social sciences, and that area is important to us as we plan our future growth. My vision for the journal is to maintain and build the scientific quality of the research showing up in the journal. And so in the future, you can expect to see more of the same, the best environmental science and technology research. And increasingly, we're going to start telling our story about how that research is important to the grand challenges facing society. I have three pieces of advice for authors who are interested in submitting to ESNT. First, send us your best work. ESNT is a journal that is very selective in what it publishes, and we're looking for um, your very best science. Second, be sure to tell us why your research is new, why we should be excited about it, and why the general audience, and not just the specialists, would be interested in reading about your research. And third, tell us the whole story. Don't tell us just a small piece of the story and publish the other piece somewhere else. We're interested in comprehensive research that tells the story from start to finish.